Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore a surprising question. Is it really possible to make gold? And as we look at what modern science says, we uncover how close or how far we are from turning this idea into reality. And to trace the science behind this age-old fascination, we start with the most advanced method known to physics. To understand what science really says about making gold, we begin with nuclear transmutation in particle accelerators. Modern physics can turn heavy elements like bismuth, lead or mercury into gold by knocking out protons and neutrons with high-energy particle beams. Experiments in the 1980s and more recently at CERN's Large Hadron Collider, ALICE experiment, have produced gold nuclei from lead. But the quantity of the produced gold was only picograms over years of running, far more costly than mining, according to a report in the Scientific American. From there, we move to CERN's breakthrough work on electromagnetic dissociation. In 2025, CERN reported precise measurements of lead nuclei turning into gold in ultra-peripheral collisions where nuclei pass close without touching. Intense electromagnetic fields eject three protons from lead-208, briefly creating gold-203 nuclei. Production peaked at around 89,000 gold nuclei per second, but the total amount accumulated from the experiments was only about 29 picograms over several years, which was economically useless. Next, we explore the idea of turning mercury into gold through fusion or fission-based setups. Theoretically, bombarding certain mercury isotopes with neutrons can make unstable isotopes that decay into gold-197, the stable form of gold. A 2025 fusion startup proposal suggests using fusion neutrons to transmute mercury-198 via mercury-197 into gold, but this remains unpeer-reviewed research with massive energy and equipment costs that dwarf any gold value. After that, we examine methods that don't create real gold but instead produce gold-like materials. Metals that only look like gold are easy to produce. Iron pyrite is a naturally occurring iron sulfide with a bright brassy color often mistaken for gold. Gold-colored alloys can be engineered to have a golden or even black surface, but are compositionally different from elemental gold. These do not change one element into another. They just imitate gold's appearance. And finally, we look at why all artificial gold techniques, all genuine artificial gold methods, rely on nuclear transmutation in large, heavily regulated facilities and yield microscopic quantities at enormous cost, so they are of scientific interest only, not a viable route to making gold for use or sale. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.